friends, I want to welcome you back to my sewing room today. Today is Friday Sews and I want to show you what's in the bag I bought at Joann's Fabric. I also want to show you what's on my sewing table. Okay, first of all, I want to show you this adorable bag. This cost, this cost $2.59 at Joann's. I love the little heart cut out in the word love. First piece of fabric I bought is this beautiful keepsake calico. It's like a soft gray with white roses. I think I'm gonna make a tote bag out of this. And the next fabric I bought is this beautiful black and white gingham keepsake calico. And I bought three yards of this cause I'm gonna make a cute little summer pin tuck dress out of this. And then I bought this black knit fabric. I'm also going to make another little pin tuck dress out of this. I need a little simple black dress and I thought this would be perfect. And then I bought this beautiful blue knit fabric to make a dress. I bought three yards of this also. This is a blue. This is a knit fabric called Surf the Web Blue Jet Set 2. Isn't it beautiful? I think this will make a beautiful pin tuck dress also. I just love how it drapes. It's so pretty. Beautiful color. So I'm looking forward to making a dress out of this. And I also bought, the thread was on sale, so I bought some blue thread to sew my blue dress. And of course, some more black and white thread. Always need that. I have a lot of sewing to get started, so I can't wait to make these dresses. And now I'll show you what's on my sewing table. Remember this fabric I bought last year at the Sewing and Quilting Expo? Well, I finally got around to cutting out part of the dress that I'm going to make Here's with the it. front of the dress that I got cut out. And I got all my pin tuck lines marked. And I've got two of the pin tucks sewn right here. I have the rest of these to sew. And then that will be the front of the dress. Here, I'll step back so you can see the whole thing. So I can't wait to get this finished and get working on those other dresses. I've also been watercolor painting. For Christmas, my daughter bought me a set of these watercolor cards, and I just love being able to, to um, paint right on them because I was just painting on watercolor paper and then pr um, making prints of it and gluing them to a card. But this way, I can paint directly on the card because it's watercolor paper that's folded into a card. So I'm working on that. It, it comes. It came with. Um, this one comes with 25 cards and 25 envelopes. And then here's the card I painted. I'm very much a beginner, so I'm still learning, but I just love it. It's so relaxing and helps me with my anxiety. I'll list the uh, video where I talk about all the different watercolor YouTube um, content creators I watch if you're interested in and learning, there's lots of them on there. Just search watercolor tutorials and you'll find a lot. There's, there is, it's just so relaxing to do this. And on the envelope of my sister-in-law's birthday card, I was able to do this little heart imprint and this little flower. And I also put a little heart right there. And how I did that was I used this. I found this at a yard sale and this little tool here comes slides off like that and you use this tool for scoring paper but on the back of this see these little designs you can put your paper here or your envelope and just and then you use this part of the tool to, to go inside and and create that little indentation to create those designs on your paper I had never seen this because I'm not really a paper crafter but I thought that was so cool so I had to buy that at the yard sale so that will come in very handy for my watercolor cards. So I just wanted to share that with you. I'm sure all you paper crafters know all about all about this. I love having all different kinds of creative things to do. I'm always doing something. I'm sewing or painting or, and I'm also just started taking piano lessons. I've always wanted to take piano lessons my whole life as a little My girl. neighbor just gave me a piano 
like uh, about a few weeks ago. And the week after she gave me the piano, our church offered free piano lessons. I was like, what? I signed up immediately. And so I'm, I'm learning. We're learning like chords and things like that um, so that we can just play chords and be able to play um, worship music and things like that. So I've just been practicing piano and I've been watercolor painting and now I'm back into sewing and I'm so glad I got my sojo back. And um, I just pray all of you guys get to do what you love. Comment below all the types of creative things you like to do. I would like to, to know. So I just really appreciate you guys watching my videos and hanging out with me and sharing our love of sewing and crafts. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a so blessed day. Bye for now.